Okay, this is Joe with Dakota Joe's, and uh, I'm currently working on uh, my boat. Uh, I blew out the coupler uh, plate that hooks on the back of the motor. Um, but yeah, we went out and got this boat last year. It's a 1988 Sylvan. Um, I rigged it up with these uh, Scotty 1106 downriggers. Uh, they work pretty nice. Um, but as I was fishing, we did a lot of fishing. We got the swivel mounts here for the Scotty downriggers. But as we was doing fishing, uh, I blew out the coupler plate. This is the coupler plate. This is the brand new one. Um, I took and I pulled off uh, the, the whole rear end, drained the fluids out of it and stuff. So when I go to reinstall it, I can make sure this is cleaned up. I got to grease, grease this all. But when you remove it, you got to... Uh, pull the pin out for your hydraulics which I'll show you that uh, remove these three bolts on both sides and uh, sometimes you have to tap on it a little bit to get it out but this pin here goes through the center hooks to your uh, trim and it looks like this this piece right here um, so um, yeah all that wonderful stuff but this is where I'm at with that so far and I pulled out the two uh, pieces here so I could get back in here and start on hooking stuff um, as you can see the bellows was bad so in return it let water in there that in return made my gimbal bearing go to shit so I gotta finish getting this off here unhook those poles um, my bellows for the exhaust is all destroyed so and this is your shifter cable that comes through and uh, so that's the point I'm at I unhooked the shifter cable so I can slide it out so I can get back in there I got one hose to unhook back there that one it's down in there a little bit you can see the nut on there I got to uh, unhook that and be real careful about it but since I got you guys on here I scored big I got myself a 1973 Pena 23 foot boat for six hundred dollars with the trailer and everything on it it's gonna be bad check this boys out that's a nice boat brand new tarp um, I got it covered in there I don't want to open it up it's kind of a pain to open it up when it's cold out you know because I'm in upper Michigan so I guess I should grab any bolts and screws that are on the ground so nobody gets a flat tire I don't know how all these ended up on the ground now you guys want to see all that lovely nice flat tire case there so take those back in the garage so anyways I did rig this up I have a Lawrence fish finder but I took it in the house because I didn't want the cold to ruin it but it's got the transducer on it I got a deal on that in Cabela's um, I only paid 500 bucks with all the transducer and stuff and I did actually get it hooked up right so just learning how to use that but yeah let me uh, rip into this boat some more I just got the heater going out here and I'm gonna warm up the garage a little bit and finish getting that thing off and I'll uh, get some more videos on how the boat repair is going later on down the road peace out Dakota Joe's